I don't know if you guys remember, but in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that you guys told me that the electric guitarist of Gigi Diana was a wonderful singer and today I want to see that for myself and that is why we will be reacting together to his performance of One Last Cry by Brian McKnight and the name of this person is Justin Oyus Trakenia. I hope I'm pronouncing his name properly especially the Oyus I don't know if that's how it's pronounced Oyus if you are new to the channel, welcome! Mali gayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovila, I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. I recognize the logo. There you go, the GG vibes. So it's been confirmed. Who is he? Who is he? They all have a microphone. Ah, look! Did you see GG? <laughs> GG just entered the room right there that's her right here which confirms that she won't be the one singing <laughs> that is so funny she's trying to be very careful My jaw dropped as soon as I heard the texture of his voice, which has a little bit of raspiness in it, but also the quality of his singing. <gasps> Dude, I am... What's the word? Of course I'm impressed, but there's another word that I'm looking for. It will come back to me. He is so freaking talented. Why does he... Why is, is his job to be the guitarist? Does he prefer to, to play guitar more than singing? Because his singing... Look, I just heard the beginning. And I can already tell you that he is incredible. Please tell me that there are videos where he sings with Gigi. Please. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to me that Gigi never asked him to sing with her because he is so freaking talented. That falsetto! His falsetto again is incredible. His runs are so beautiful. What is going on? Why is this guy um, passing like under the radar? Why isn't, why don't they put the light on this guy? You know what I'm saying? More often. The word came back to me. I was speechless when he started singing. Speechless. Oh, there she is, Gigi. He's so freaking good. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. He even has some Daryl on qualities when it comes to his runs. 
and he's so good. He seems like he seems to be very good at R and B. Okay, Daryl Ong, if you're watching this, invite. Please invite him to sing with you. Please. I think you guys would make a fantastic pair. I'm sure he knows him too. Oh! I'm sorry. What's wrong with Gigi? Look. She's putting um, a cold... What is it called? A cold bag on, on her... or. Or a, a, a warm bag on her mouth. Did she remove a tooth or something? Maybe. Oh my gosh, this guy. Seriously, he's so talented. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And I just noticed, I was so focused on discovering this man's voice and talent that I barely noticed that this was an acoustic version of One Last Cry because the only instrument that we got here on top of his voice is a keyboard. That is it. Look, the other two guys are not doing anything. No drums, no bass, just the keyboard. He is shining. <laughs> Like a star. See, see, there, 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 there. I heard Daryl Ong right there, man. And I believe that his falsetto is even better, better than Daryl Ong's. His falsetto is... Ah, oh, perfect. And let's not forget the keyboardist. He is nailing it. He is inspired too, man. Incredible! Incredible! Hey, let's go! Give us that solo, that keyboard solo, piano solo. Oh, this is making me feel better. I was a little down today. Actually, very down. No, 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 please tell me, look, I don't remember because I recently reacted to uh, some Gigi Diana performances and most of them were with Daryl Ong and I did not really pay attention um, to the band members behind, uh, you know, I usually do, but like I can't right now remember who were, was there, was he with them, I'm sorry, as good of a guitarist as he may be, this guy needs to sing. He needs to either go solo or find his own band or be a co-star with Gigi. Oh my lord! There is way too much talent in the Gigi vibes. Way too much, man. Seriously. We all know how good and talented Gigi Diana is, right? Can you imagine that there was a guy with this much Talent, flexibility, hiding behind her? chills the chills look i'm not that familiar with this song yes i've heard this song but i'm not super familiar so i wouldn't be able to tell you if he made it his own but i feel like he did make it his own man with all those runs 
he, I'm sure he made it his own. It feels so flavorful. Oh, like you have no idea the chills that I felt up to up until now. Okay, this dude basically in one song showcased his entire portfolio. And guess what? He did it perfectly. I liked everything. The runs, uh, the belting, like seriously, the climax, he nailed it, he can do it. The soft parts, um, he can hold a note like a like an angel, he, the feels, you know, the feeling behind the words, everything. I'm so... <laughs> so my large fries, let's go. There you go, he made it his own. Thank you very much, that was a song from One Large Fries. <laughs> and he's funny. <laughs> And he is funny. Okay, he is the total package. Uh, Oyus, what, 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 what's going on? What's going on here, guys? Like, I'm almost disappointed in my Filipino community for not making a big deal out of this guy, out of this talent. I'm telling you now, if this guy joins, even TNT, which is the hardest Filipino vocal talent show, he, mi he might either win it, if he sings like this all the time, or at least be in the top three, at least. That was so good. Oh, I haven't felt like this in such a long time. I was speechless. You, pleasantly surprised is a word that is too light to describe how I felt. Seriously, I was surprised, pleasantly, and even more. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? This showcases the talent in the Philippines. If a freaking electric guitarist can sing like this can you believe what a main singer of a band or whatever can do in the Philippines shabarangs sorry that is an expression that I haven't said in a while shabarangs is actually an artist <laughs> and it's a term that we used to use I don't know why uh, in high school. I don't know why. When we were impressed, we would say Shabarangs, which doesn't make any sense because that's the name of an artist. But still, it stayed with me. And I used it here because I am very surprised. But pleasantly, more than pleasantly, Justin, oh, you're Strakenia, your voice is incredible. Like, legit, I would put you on the level of the Daryl Ongs, man. The Bugoys, the Burakels, basically, Michael Pangilinan. Yo, you are right there, maybe even higher. Like I heard one performance, but if this is how you sing all the time, you're so good. I'm sorry, but when you have a talent like this in your band, you gotta invite that talent more often. Like recently, um, Gigi invited Daryl Ong to sing with her quite often. If I don't know if Justin is still with the band, but if he's still with the band, I get it. You know, inviting Daryl Ong because he's very talented. And God knows how much I loved his singing, how much I love his singing, and and you know he's popular, so it's good for for visibility and all that. But man, you have someone who's as talented, in my opinion, based on what I just saw. So, I would, I would think he's the first one that you would invite. 
And I would not be surprised if she already did, you know, because I'm sure and I, I feel like Gigi is a wonderful person. And I hope that she she's feeling better because we all saw that she had something on her face, you know, to perhaps reduce inflammation or something. Anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me. Did you know about it? Did you know that Justin Oyes Traquenia was this good? Did you know that a band member of GG Vibes was this talented? Hey! Maraming maraming salamat po! And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here!